So hi folks, on today's video, um, this is actually um, the 9th of um, December 2024. Um, the XOS version on the car has been updated to version 5.4.1 uh, and it boasts of quite a number of feature updates including um, a lot of capabilities with regards to the AI um, drive or AI valet driving. Um, feature as well as um, uh, Xpong touting the end-to-end -end use of, um, of language um, or large model to address the issue of um, um, video um, sensing uh, and also perceptive um, drive um, so um, this is a short um, drive that we intend to um, do uh, it's supposed to be in total about nine minutes um, of a drive uh, and it's supposed to um, get us to about um, 3.4 uh, kilo, um, thereabout, um, total of uh, 4.7. Um, but uh, out of that, we would be effectively um, having to get um, the self-driving feature around um, 3.2 kilo of, of the stretch. Um, yeah, so quite a number of um, interesting updates uh, and also a couple of um, updates that had been done um, between um, the last time uh, I did a video and now. Uh, now the language of the of the system has been updated to support uh, English uh, within mainland China um, and it looks like it's um, actually giving me a lot more control uh, finesse uh, over the car's um, of con configuration. Um, I've been able to make a lot of tweaks that essentially um, I couldn't do before but the car had the capability um, to do um, including optimization of some of the um, personalization uh, that I, I perhaps would um, have loved to have had in the uh, in the past that now uh, I can essentially um, have so altogether things are looking really good um, and I think I like the fact that you know first of all um, the company has taken on board a lot of the feedback that I provided uh, earlier on um, this was way back in the four um, version or the four series version uh, and then the early fives. Um, the 5.1 uh, I think um, started to implement a lot of those um, features. Um, for instance, um, turn signal uh, indication um, from a video, my world video stream um, is now included. Before the implementation was very, very um, Oh, I could um, I could almost say it was um, quite uh, um, primitive the implementation that was done before um, for instance the tank signal would not stay on uh, when when the car was um, sort of um, you know when you signaled manually to take a turn um, the video um, stream would not effectively uh, um, stay on until the turn was completed it just blinked for quite a bit and it was quite erratic um, now it is behaving very proper um, the turn signal is also uh, included as part of the driving. Um, so the self-driving feature automatically will trigger the turn signal video stream um, to show you know, um, left and right uh, um, movement uh, or left and right rear uh, view or side, side rear view, um, um, which is really good. Um, so you get a lot more confidence um, when you're controlling or overseeing um, the car's um, um, behavior. Um, in, in the um, autonomous or self-driving um, mode, um, which is really good. Um, the other thing is um, a couple of maneuvering you know, uh, capability that was essentially you know, um, baked into the previous version by way of policy control have now been delegated to um, the large model, um, which means that it, it's able to address a lot more um, scenarios by way of road conditions. Um, than what was um, essentially the previous versions of the OS. Um, and I guess this, this is as worse as it can be. Um, it's not exactly too good so far. Um, sometimes it's actually um, staying on the line, um, sometimes finding it difficult to select a line, uh, and in most cases trying to always stay on the right lane uh, as much as possible. Um, when you're doing country roads uh, um, that are even dual carriage, right? So um, that that sort of like uh, observations that I've had uh, in the in the past couple of uh, 
um, days that I've been using the version. Um, and it is also uh, including a couple of other uh, capabilities from um, the, the AI drive feature point of view, uh, which is good. It, it actually was an update that coincided with an overhaul also of the uh, app. Um, the app has gotten a fresh new look, which is really good. Um, it's much more clearer and steadier. Let's see what it does with this case. So it signaled, it showed the video stream, um, but I wouldn't do that. It was staying too close to the door that was open there. I would have basically stayed completely um, in the other lane and then um, returned back um, to this lane uh, as much as possible. But anyway, that was good because before it would totally come to a halt before it would essentially do that uh, um, turn. Um, now this is a tricky place um, because what it should have done was actually go to the other lane uh, in order to um, be able to go straight through but anyway this is also good uh, let's see what it does here um, this is the actual signal it's supposed to follow but it's not able to detect which one it is so I'll have to urge it on and take over um, not the other one so that that's something that um, would perhaps improve over time um, it's able to essentially, you know, do multi-lane uh, um, sweep um, to, you know, to do that negotiation to uh, the left. Um, although if it was a, a busy road, I would be a little bit more scared. Um, but now it's um, it's around, you know, 130, 131. Um, the roads are pretty empty. Around this time of the day, uh, a lot of folks are actually having their rest. Um, so you'd not see a lot of cars on the road. So I allowed it to, to do that. But um, if it was a busy hour, I would be pretty scared uh, and maybe would be much more attentive than this. Um, so yes, and, and a couple of other you know scenarios, including the capability that's been included that, um, for instance, um, when, you're, uh, when you're driving uh, and you change the um, destination, what was happening before was that the car was completely falling out uh, of uh, NGP mode. Um, uh, and then rethinking um, when the new um, route was included or was input um, to switch to that route. Now that you know that fallback is no more there, uh, so it's a very smooth uh, handover, which is really really good. Um, and I think I commend the team for effectively also taking on board that feedback and addressing that problem. Um, and then uh, you know the the typical uh, handshake between LCC and GP uh, is now a lot more smoother. Um, and the experience is a lot more you know refined than it was before uh, I think there are still uh, areas of improvement and, and I will call those out maybe along the line when I do more videos uh, but let's see how it negotiates this, um, this left turn uh, uh, and see how smooth that is from an experience point of view um, okay that was a little bit worrying because the car on my right was uh, equally trying to um, do that same turn but was um, getting more into my lane uh, or this car was actually getting into his lane so I got a little bit um, scared over there but you anyway it, it was again it was um, quite you know okay um, it can be improved um, and made much more smoother um, we will be um, negotiating another um, left turn in about 400 um, meters um, the road gets a little bit tricky over there as well but let's see how it addresses it uh, because it will be a turn into um, a lane that is not um, guarded um, but anyway let's see how it does uh, the idea of this particular update with using the large model is that it could do an end-to-end -end complete uh, you know um, drive uh, and this is something that was in indicated now the car in front of me is using a double signal which means that it's either at a halt or perhaps not ready to uh, make any sort of move let's see how the car behaves the car recognized that uh, and was effectively negotiating the opportunity to do a quick you know uh, um, bypass which is very good um, and I think it was equally uh, um, quite um, confident in doing that um, now let's see here this is exactly what I was speaking about before okay so it's able to slow down take a take it slow uh, and then observe um, you know perceive the environment um, to get that sense of, uh, of, of security in uh, making that, um, that turn and then advancing. So this is pretty good. Um, now it has to do a U-turn ahead. Um, and this was what I was talking about. So the gas, the car signals itself and also shows the video stream, which is really good because now you can get 
the opportunity to provide uh, you know to provide an oversight uh, on exactly what the car is doing um, convert you know versus before it wasn't it wasn't something you could uh, actually actually you know uh, uh, have um, now the u10 here is going to be tricky um, and okay so it's a uh, it's something quite tricky I had to take over and I think um, this is this is this is an acceptable behavior um, given that this this conditions of um, being able to do these very tricky maneuvering uh, will still need a bit more of um, data uh, I'm not too sure that that data is currently you know is being mapped pretty well uh, into the to, into the models to enable um, one to effectively have that smooth uh, experience um, so I'm hoping that that would basically you know um, be addressed uh, as time goes on I'm at the parking spot where exactly I need to be and and it's managed to do the job pretty well um, which is pretty good so I think that was about it you know um, thank you guys for uh, watching uh, and I hope um, this has been quite uh, informative um, um, to yourselves as in uh, experiencing um, the car do um, you know um, effectively what is supposed to do um, for that particular move now I'm going to try to do a, a, a self pack outside um, and let's see how that uh, happens or that uh, pretty much um, uh, is um, going to be experienced And I'm here to do um, a, a sort of um, to charge the car um, because I've got quite a you know I'm quite low on 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 battery. I'm just I'm 10% low, and this is the first time I've actually hit that particular uh, uh, um, battery level. Um, typically, I keep my battery always you know maximum you know depletion would be around 45%. Um, but unfortunately, I've not had the time to do the charging, um, so I'm going to do the charging now. Uh, and of course, you know, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, hope to see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.